I'm David Ryan, I'm a freelance journalist and author. This is the Hartlepool by-election and this is the SDP campaign. Raised but a few miles away in Middlesbrough. Coming from humble backgrounds and working his way from the bottom of the BBC all the way to the top of the most left lofty precisions. Columnist, writer, public speaker, intellectual and fantastic raconteur. May I introduce you all to the infatigable Rod Leno. You missed out love, God. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, we're told that this election is going to be a battle between the Conservative Party and the Labour Party. What a mean choice for the people of Hartlepool. We have a government, a Conservative government, which is mired in corruption, which has no integrity, and which, according to Dominic Greaves, the Shadow Attorney General, a Prime Minister who is a vacuum of integrity. It is also incompetent, uh, and it lacks any moral guidance. This isn't me speaking, this is Dominic Cummings, the Prime Minister's former special advisor. He should know, he knows of what he talks. And I wonder, I would actually, you, sir, if I could ask you, has Boris Johnson ever texted you to tell you he can sort out your tax problems? I just wondered. No. No, never done that. And, and madam, has, have you ever been given a £4.1 million pound contract because you're best mates with Matt Hancock, the Health Secretary. No, I'm Has that ever happened? No. Have any of you been given a job running a massive government project because your horse did really well in the Cheltenham Gold Cup in 1994? These things have all happened. We have a Prime Minister, a former Prime Minister, David Cameron, snivelling around, trying to get money into his trouser pockets by sneaking up to Rishi Sunak and demanding that his failing company, who pays him a load of Wonga, Green Seal, gets contracts which they wouldn't otherwise get. It is an utterly bereft party and we need it kicked out. And don't think for a minute that the Conservative Party, which swept away all those red seats, all those Labour seats in the Tees Valley, in the North East, last uh, December 2019, don't think that they give a monkeys about anything to do with the lives and the aspirations and the hopes of the people in Hartlepool. This government is foul, incompetent and corrupt. Please don't vote for it. But then your alternative is the Labour Party, a party which I was a member of for 37 years, but had to leave in the end because it was utterly obsessed with identitarian politics, with divisive and corrosive identitarian politics. I'm telling you, if you spend five minutes too long in this tanning salon just over the road, Keir Starmer will probably take a knee for you. It is an appalling party and Keir Starmer can't do anything about it because the whole the whole warp and weft of the party has changed by giving membership for five quid to every metropolitan liberal in London. It has changed a party which was set up to support the working class. It no longer does that. Worse than that, it despises the working class. It despises the people of Hartlepool. It despises the way they live their lives. It despises their morals. It despises their aspirations. And as Will said earlier, there was no better indication of that than that they would choose Dr. Paul Williams not merely a Remainer, but an arch Remainer, to come and stand in the most pro-Leave constituency in England. That's an incredible decision. But it's not just that. It's their obsession with gender politics. We are the only major party standing in this election who believes that women exist. I'm not making this up. They do exist. I can see some. <laughs> The Labour Party, in its manifesto, and now taken on by the Conservative Party, in order to placate the transgender lobby, do not think that women, as a, as a gender, exists at all. It is an absurdity. And Labour cannot get away from that kind of stuff. We are the only party which believes that someone with a todger is a man. Doesn't matter how small it is, Someone with a todger is a man. 
And so that's the choice. You have a choice between a corrupt, venal and incompetent government and a Labour Party which is obsessed with irrelevancies. And then there's us, a party which is left-leaning on economics, but which is patriotic. A party which wishes to build industry, but which is green. It seems to me it's a no-brainer. All we've got to do is get that message out to the people. And let's go in a tank and do it now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we open today, we have parked our tank on Labour's lawn, and now we intend to drive it and kick it up. Today, we will go in a convoy around town, blaring out our message and raising awareness of this campaign and making sure that the people of Hartlepool know they have a choice of a candidate who is willing to fight for their interests and their interests alone. Thank you ever so much for attending. And may we have a fantastic campaign.